This 22-year-old woman attacked and killed by her own dogs. It happened in a wooded area near her father's home in Goochland. 8 News reporter Kristen Smith joins us live from the area now with the latest details. Kristen? Investigators think Bethany Stevens was taking her two pit bulls for a walk in the woods when they turned on her. But some of her friends don't believe it. They say those dogs love Stevens as much as she loved them. Bethany Stevens' father went looking for her last night. When he found his daughter, investigators say the young woman's two pit bulls, Tonka and Pac Man, were standing guard over her body. It was an absolutely Grizzly mauling, it, and my 40 years of law enforcement, I've never seen anything quite like it. Hope I never see anything like it again. The Goochland County Sheriff says Stevens was a petite five foot one, no match for her burly 100 to 125 pound dogs. According to the medical examiner, Stevens was still alive when the animals attacked. The victim had defensive wounds on her hands and arms, trying to keep the dogs away from her, which would be consistent with being attacked while she was still alive. Those dogs and her, they loved each other. One of the victim's best friends doesn't believe Tonka and Pac-Man would do anything to hurt their owner. She says Stevens babied those dogs that she had raised since they were puppies. So I wasn't able to see the body, so I can't tell you what happened. I can't tell you if it was a blunt force or if it was a mauling, but I know those dogs didn't do it. Say that Stevens had recently been receiving threats from someone she knows, which is yet another reason why they question whether or not the dogs were responsible for her death. But that is what the medical examiner is saying, even though that office is still waiting on toxicology reports. In the meantime, the sheriff's office is working to have the dogs euthanized. Live in Goochland, Kristen Smith, 8 News.